Great week for the Fighting Ham Bones, and it all started Wednesday night when the Tribe took part in the ACC Big Ten Challenge against the Hoosiers of Indiana. Florida State got off to a hot start, taking an 8-2 lead following a Raekwon 50 Shades of Grey drive and dunk, but this one would be a back-and-forth affair all night. The two teams traded blows for the first 20 minutes before eventually heading to the half with the good guys in front 33-31. While most of the Hoosiers struggled against the length of the Knolls, they were able to smuggle a baby Shaq into the tuck who kept him in the game all night. Trace Michael Jackson Davis was a monster in the middle, going for an impressive 25-17 and 17 on the night, giving Florida State fits for most of the contest. The magnificent MJ Walker was assertive in his 41 minutes of action, leading the way with 19 points, including a massive three from the logo with 51 seconds left in regulation right before the game would eventually head to overtime. There were just 12 total points in the extra period, but none bigger than the final two. Freshman phenom Scotty Barnes took the inbound late, drove the length of the court, hit Indiana with a Euro step before floating one off the glass with 1.8 seconds to play, looking at Indiana's bench and asking, who's your daddy? Knowles win 69-67. Then on Saturday, it was Father's Day in Tallahassee as Leonard Hamilton welcomed his son Mike White and the Florida Gators to the TLC double C. Early on, it looked as if the Tribe's win streak of six straight over the Lizards was in jeopardy as the school out east could not miss from deep. The second-rate Scotty, Scotty Lewis that is, would end up dropping 19 on the Knolls, most of them early. Florida jumped out to a 23-14 lead, and then the Tribe would go on to score two touchdowns and a field goal, going on a 17-0 run, leaving Ron Burgundy saying that escalated quickly. Anthony, not so polite to the Gators, had himself a monster first half, eventually finishing the day with 14 points. But the final 30 minutes of the game should have been played in the United Center, as this was the MJ and Scotty show, and man, did it get mighty disrespectful. It started late in the first half when Scotty Pippen Barnes went baseline to baseline before throwing Thor's hammer down on Colin Sand Castleton. But the super producing point guard wasn't done just yet. Early in the second half, we witnessed some Scotty on Scotty crime as Barnes dropped a bomb over Lewis in transition, but the Knolls weren't done printing posters at the tuck just yet. And I'm not sure what's better, guys, the dunks or that shimmy we saw Barnes give us after. Later, MJ Walker took the ball the length of the court and brings the pain to Omar Payne, throwing it down over him, then channeled his inner Allen Iverson, disrespectfully stepping over Payne on his way back down the court. Make it seven in a row for the for over Mike White's squad for Ham and Company as Florida State wins comfortably 83-71 to 71, behind 34 points from MJ and Scotty, moving to 3-0 on the season. The Knowles will take the next few days off before hosting Georgia Tech Tuesday night at the TLC Double C.